More on this, we're joined by Clay Thomas. He is, of course, the founder of what he calls a fearless sports com media company. It's outkick.com. It's a great place to go and check things out. So I remember a week or two ago when we had you on the show, we were talking about this story. And one of the things you asked was, where are the women's groups standing up for women athletes? Uh, well, now we have the parents who are sticking up for them and saying to NCAA, like, something needs to be done. Do you think they'll get any sort of response? They should. I think that they probably will not, unfortunately, Dana, because what you've seen here, ironically, you know, Outkick broke the story of two different women swimmers on Penn who spoke out about how ridiculous this was. Now you've got the parents speaking out. They're all doing so anonymously. But what's interesting, Dana, the most to me is no one is actually defending this policy in the world of sports in an explicit way. Not that I've seen anyway. What they're trying to do is pretend that this story doesn't exist at all. And I think that reflects the fact that this is not something that is controversial to most people in America. I would mm -hmm. bet 90 or 95 percent of people in America believe men should compete against men and women should compete against women. And so if you're in this position now, uh, what you're seeing is all these people, Dana, think about this, all the people who said, oh, it's so great that Colin Kaepernick is speaking out. Oh, we need more players and coaches and athletes to use sports as a window to speak out on cultural issues. Where are all those people? Where are the Megan Rapinos of the world mm -hmm. that were attacking Donald Trump every single time you put a microphone anywhere near them, the most popular and successful female athletes in the entire world, do these women recognize that if men decide to identify as women and start playing soccer, they won't exist. They won't be as good because they're not as big, strong, and fast as biological men. Yeah. And so this is an existential threat against women's athletics, Dana, and the feminists, the Title IX supporters, almost no one is actually willing to engage in a legitimate discussion mm -hmm. about this monumental threat to women's athletics, to Title IX, Clay, and to the equality of sex. One of the moms says, everybody's scared, parents are scared that the kids will be harmed. We're paying $80,000 a year for this school. Their life will be impacted. And that's a quote. Clay, I know you've been on the story for a while. It's not over. It shall continue, and we'll have you back. Okay? Thank you. Thanks, Clay.